Let's practice working with proportions. A proportion is an equation that shows that two ratios are equal. Now ratios are proportional if they represent the same comparison between quantities. Now you can tell if a ratio is proportional if they can be simplified to the same unit rate or simplified fraction. Proportions are very useful and you will see through a couple of examples how they can be used to solve many real-life problems involving fractions, ratios, or percents. So let's get started with a problem together. At the carnival, three rides on the moon coaster cost $21. So we've got three for $21. Now how much do five rides cost? Okay, we can do this by using proportional ratios. So the first thing to do is set up a ratio of the, I guess, number of rides, which we will let be R, and the cost, right? So we'll do the cost per ride. And the way to do this would be to set up the first fraction, which is $21 for three rides. Now over here, what we don't know is the cost, and I'm going to let the variable C represent cost. So the cost per five rides. Now what you want to do is use cross multiplication to set up an algebraic equation. And cross multiplication, I would multiply the denominator by the numerator in the opposite fraction and do the same thing on this side. So when I do that, I get the cross products of 21 times 5 equals 3 times C. Now because I want to find C, or the cost for five rides, I'm going to isolate this variable, and to do that I'm going to divide both sides by three. So I divide by three on this side, and divide by three on this side. Dividing by three on the right cancels the threes out, and you're left with C. So you have 21 times five divided by three equals C. And let's just scroll down and make some space. So you have 21 times five over three which ends up being 105 divided by 3. And this is set equal to C. And 105 divided by 3 is $35, because remember, we're talking about the cost. So the cost is $35. For five rides, it will cost you $35 to ride. Let's try another problem together. Find 30% of 250 by using proportions. Now remember, a percent is a special fraction where the denominator is always 100. So the fraction form of 30% would be 30 over 100. Now you're going to use proportions by setting this equal to some number or some part of 250. Now make this an algebraic expression by using cross multiplication, right? So you're going to cross multiply and what you get on the left side is 30 times 250 equals 100x. Now you want to divide both sides of the equation by 100. When you do that to the right side, the 100s cancel out and you're just left with x, so you have 30 times 250 over 100 equals x. Simplify the numerator by multiplying. 30 times 250 is 7,500. And now you have that over 100 equals x. When you divide 7,500 by 100, you are left with 75 equals x. So that means that 30% of 250 is 75. Let's try another problem together. Jaden is buying tennis shoes. They cost $75 and the tax is 8%. How much do the shoes cost after tax? Now there are two approaches to this problem. You can find 8% of $75 and then add that back to the $75 to find the total cost after tax. So let's do it that way first, which is what is 8% of 75? So that's where we're starting. So we're going to do the same thing we, we did in the last problem, right? We're going to use the percent, which is a special fraction where the denominator is 100. So 8 over 100 represents 8%. And now what we want to know is what does that represent? 8% is what number out of 75? Again, use cross multiplication. So you're going to have 8 times 75 on the left side of the equation equals 100x. Now you want to divide both sides of this equation by 100 to isolate x. When you do that to the right side, the 100s cancel out and you're just left with x. So you have 8 times 75 over 100 equals x. Simplify the numerator by multiplying. 8 times 75 is 600 divided by 100 equals x. 
600 divided by 100 is 6, which means $6 get added on to the cost of the shoes, which is 75. So you have $75 plus 6 equals 81. So that's how much Jaden's going to have to pay after tax. Now there's another way that you can solve this problem, and let's do that in green over here on the left side. You can solve this by finding 108% of the cost, and that's because 8% is an additional cost to the 100% cost of the shoe. So let's write that as a ratio. You get 108%, which is 108 over 100, equals what number over 75? And you do the same thing, cross, multiply, and divide, right? So you get 75 times 108, and you get that equal to 100x. Let me scroll down a little bit, make some space. So then you're going to divide both sides by 100, and when you do that, you're left with 75 times 108 over 100 equals x. Simplify, and you get 8100 over 100 equals x. 8100 divided by 100 equals 81. And that's the same number that you got when we did the 8% cost of 75 and then adding that back to the total. In this lesson, you've learned how to use ratios and proportion.